Hello, Trey. Welcome to my super fancy home office. Um, this is where I record these days, and I'm gonna be honest, it's a little depressing. I used to work in a room full of people, and it was, you know, a creative, wonderful endeavor. It was like energetic ping pong. There were tears, there were laughter, there were shared stories, and now I'm just by myself with this mic. But anyway, uh, I'm supposed to be answering some questions of yours, so let me stick to the uh, track. And I think you were asking me about what it was like, two really different questions. One, what was it like to voice Catherine Colbert on YJ? No one has ever asked me that before. And two, you asked me what it was like to be killed in CSI. So for the on-camera question, the second question, I've been killed on multiple TV shows and um, for me, it's, uh, they're all really incredible different stories, but for my parents, they're terrible. They hate watching television shows where my character does not make it. And they've actually told me, they like to be surprised when they're watching shows that I'm on, but they've told me, please always tell me if you're going to, your character will die or not. Um, so when you asked me that question, I immediately thought of my mom and how, traumatizing it was when she watched that CSI episode because that was actually one of the first guest stars I had ever done when I moved to LA. That was so long ago. Um, I've also been on, like, besides CSI, um, Chicago Med and 911 and um, Code Black. I, I don't think my character made it on that show. I'm trying to remember. I've, I've been, you know, either a victim of a crime or accused of a crime or a witness of a crime or a medical emergency on so many random shows. Uh, so they start to run together. But CSI in particular will always stand out to me because it was one of the first ones I ever did. And actually, I remember when I booked that audition, they told me that normally they film in um, Los Angeles where I was, but a couple times a year they go to Las Vegas. And this was one of the episodes they shot in Las Vegas. So I actually got to go to Las Vegas and stay in a cool hotel, and my character got um, murdered, and then I had to lay outside and be a dead body for a lot of the episode after the part that I was alive. And that was really hard acting because it was freezing. It was like four in the morning when we were shooting that scene, and we were in the desert, which is very cold at night at that time of year, and I was wearing a very tiny outfit, and I was laying in a puddle outside, and I just had to try not to shiver. And for me, that was one of the hardest jobs I've ever had, just trying not to show that I was alive and cold because uh, my body was betraying me. Okay. So that was uh, an interesting experience. And then also just being a dead body was really cool. Um, just the makeup artist experience, like going in the, they were so used to having dead bodies. So it was kind of like a big trailer and you would stand and they would spray you with all the white makeup and then they would spray the veins on you. And then they put the autopsy, like it was looked like chicken cutlets on me that had already, so it looked like my chest had already been opened up. I mean, it was really eerie to have to lay down on a slab in the morgue because that was really me. And um, you're not usually awake for that experience. And I never really wanted to know what that felt like. But I do. Um, what else? Catherine Colbert. That's another cool story. So uh, they were asking me what accents I can do. And my family is French-Canadian. So I just channeled my aunt, Guylaine. Uh, when she is talking in English, uh, there is a different accent. If you are French from... Um, Paris, you would say, I always have like a little, I call it a Kodak moment in my mind for an accent, but you would say, there are three of them, like there are three of them, there's like Z's and and it's soft, but a French Canadian, which is my family, they say, there are three of them, so, you know, you, if you like accents, for me, you know, the best way to do it is I love accents and I love imitating people, so I just picture a very specific person, and you'll never really sound like them. You'll sound like you doing your version of them, but the person at home who's watching has no idea who I'm imitating. But I have tons of French family, so that's really where I got that one from. Um, there was a time when I was doing a Russian accent at the same time, and I had a lot of trouble um, switching back between French and Russian on the day. I don't know why. My brain was like short-circuiting. And I think sometimes my accent was a little off as a result of that. And I also feel like I was in, newer on the scene when I first started in voiceover on Young Justice. And I would be in a... Actually, I started this talking about how I miss being in a group record and now I'm by myself. 
But that was a drawback because there were a lot of professional, um, really funny, talented people in the room. And I would get insecure and just get anxiety that they were listening to me. And then I would like, normally I never judge myself and I'm just free with my accents and my acting. And I started feeling really insecure and then I would mess up. And I think that made me unable to switch back and forth. And then actually I, I found myself a couple times just being like, not volunteering myself as knowing an accent because I got so nervous and just letting other people take the job. Because sometimes it kind of like in the moment, they're like, we have to do this character and there's five of us in there and everyone like says, I can do that accent. And they kind of like, you just like audition right in the moment and then you get the part. You already have a part because you're on the show. So it's not that big of a price difference for them if the actor does another character. I'm just like rambling now. Anyway, but Point is, now I feel much more secure doing accents, and there's a character I'm doing right now that I'm not allowed to tell you about. Not in YJ, a different show. This information has not been released, but every episode I get to do a new accent, and it's so much fun. Okay. Hopefully those uh, those were great answers for you. I don't know. And um, thank you for reaching out to me via Cameo. It's been fun. It's been real. Stay safe. Bye.